subject areas are divided between theory-based subjects. So you've got structures, history of architecture, environmental science, uh, technology. And then the other half of the course is project-based and that is situated within the studios of the, the school. So when a student comes into the School of Architecture, they have a place in a studio. I would say students of architecture need to be creative more so than specifically artistic. And by creative I mean they need to be open to learning and uh, taking on lots of different media and ways of working. The artistic flair is an advantage, but I don't know if it's a requirement. Some ability to think conceptually, I think, is a requirement. But if you're at school, you might be able to think about the way a poem is put together, or you might be good at mathematical conceptual thinking. I think you need to keep two sides working in your mind all the time. You need to be very interested in the detail of things, in how things are made, how things are put together, how things work. And then you also need to keep in mind a feeling of purpose, what's something meant to be for, what's the big idea behind something. I entered the School of Architecture because of a basic interest in the built environment and also having a kind of a dual science and artistic uh, interest. I like making things basically and I also like trying to communicate uh, using different means of so visual communication as well as verbal and written, written communication. Every day as an architect is different. One day you could be working on sketch design for a small project and try to work out a brief with a client for that. Another day you could be working on a larger scale project and working with a team of consultants or with contractors on site. In this studio I would say we uh, specialise in non-specialisation, but we have done some social housing projects and we've done some private houses. I think all architects are interested in how people live and in a way when you make an architectural project, you kind of, in your head, you kind of think, how is the world, or how do I make the world, or what's the world made up of? And in the city, the world is made up of where people live, and I think all architects are fascinated by that. My work at the, as an architect at the moment is quite varied. Uh, there's kind of three different levels of activity I'm engaged in at the moment. So teaching in the School of Architecture. I'm in practice in a small uh, town practice in Westport and County Mayo where we'd have projects ranging from house extensions to a small school to an elderly daycare centre. So they're quite varied. But also I'm doing carrying out research into the Irish town at the moment. I actually feel very optimistic about architecture in Ireland. I think there's a whole new resurgence of young, energetic and gifted architects in this country. Some of them now are doing small work and maybe not all of their work is evident on the streets of the city or on the front pages of newspapers, but I do think there's a real feeling of energy coming out of a young generation of architects and many of those are graduates of UCD and some of those are teaching at UCD. We're only going to have increasing difficulties in the coming years with peak oil and with environmental challenges. So how we positively engage with the field of architecture in shaping our environment to be energy efficient, to maximise use of daylight, uh, to make the places that we live and work and play uh, enjoyable places to be, and how we shape our towns and our cities in the future are really important challenges. Architecture is a social art and architecture is the way that the form of society is expressed. If you want to understand a society that you don't know anything else about, you can look to its architecture and understand its nature. <laughs>